folks, welcome back for a I love all the details and additions. Correction, I've seen five in person now. One was converted to be a Skaven ship. But super cool, super excited. So let's open this up and take a look inside. So for those of you who don't know what this kit is, this is the Arcanaut Ironclad from the Games Workshop Age of Sigmar line. It's kind of the big boy ship for the, um, for the Caradron Overlords. Um, and then just so you see the uh, the front and then the back super cool super detailed lots of little guys couple gun options i'm excited for it i kind of want to get one more just so i have an extra um and hopefully i can magnetize this gun on them but yeah so outer box comes off to reveal bum 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 an inner box oh all right Inner box to the side. Just like with all Games Workshop standard kits, you get the uh, the kind of colored instructions, I guess you could call it. <laughs> but yeah, um, super cool. I'm super excited for this. It's going to be such a cool kit to get built. Oh, it looks so good. So many extra parts. Obviously, these rules aren't correct. These are kind of the old rules, but... Really nice instructions, and you know, they're kind of the standard Games Workshop instructions, but it's one thing GW does fantastically with their kits. So, when we open the box, we get one, two, three big sprues, oh wow. And, uh, guys, for those of you who don't know, this is an Imperial Knight size base. Um, and I will say that the biggest complaint out of all my friends who have these built and painted already is this. <laughs> this is the flight stand that this thing hangs on. Um, it really needs two of these, though, to balance really well, or even three to, um, to, to truly be good. <laughs> Alright, so let's look into these sprues now. Get those out of the way. I mean, guys, this is the upper deck area. This ship is huge and so many really cool, finely detailed parts. And then, guys, this whole section over here are just guys you can put in it, which is neat. I really, really like that they did that with these ships. It was something that they didn't have to do, but they did it, and it worked out great. Our little uh, ballast pieces and everything, our anchor, which is really cool. And finally, guys, the sides of the ship. These ships are huge. Um, for those of you who don't know, in lore, um, the ironclads aren't used that often by the Caradron Overlords because of how much ether gold they take to power these ships. They're not really too economically feasible. So usually they use um, frigates instead because they're better, I guess, aether gold per distance of travel? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. But, uh... Where's the, where's the shooty guns? Hmm. Well, oh, here they are. There's some there, there's the harpoon there. Okay, yeah, there's the shooty guns. Sorry guys, I thought I got gypped for a minute, but we're all good, it's all here. <laughs> good times. All right guys, so another fantastic hit from the Caradron Overlords. I can't wait to get these guys going. I'm working on painting them now, so hopefully we will get them on the channel. I am limiting this army to if it's painted, I can play with it. If it's not, then I can't. <laughs> so uh, it may be a little bit before we see these guys. Luckily, I've got enough stuff built now, and uh, we're actually going to be doing a stream where I build a uh, set of Arcanaut Company, too. So stick around for that. But guys, thank you so much for watching this review. This is Queen City Gaming, signing out, folks. Hey, hey folks, welcome. Thank you so much for watching that video. This is uh, Queen City Gaming. We are one of a local Charlotte group who does battle reports, uh, unboxings, uh, army reviews, things like that, all for you guys. So please make sure you like, share, and subscribe down below. Stay tuned for some more of our excellent videos with our upload schedule listed here on this section. Thank you so much, guys. This is Queen City Gaming, signing out.